You try to um, you try to express and transmit what is what you believe or we believe is needed in in each moment, and each moment is is different. Um, when they are winning football matches, sometimes instead of uh, good words, they need uh, a kick because <laughs> you don't want them to get relaxed and be complacent. And sometimes they just need an arm around. They need to be closer to them and understand uh, their frustration, their fears, and um, and be more supportive. It's it's a difficult balance. Does, does that type of thing, is it a delicate balance having that type of um, thing you sort of shout at you do about perhaps losing some of them and, uh, and, and the reaction not being perhaps what you want? Sorry, is can it a delicate balance when you sort of shout at the players that you do in the documentary about then generating the reaction? I don't think I shout a lot. No. <laughs> 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 you come across that in, in the programme as a fighter, when we see you in the dressing room, you're very intense, much more than we see you here. Is, is, there, is there sort of a, an almost side where you have to get angry with the players at times? I think you have to be who you are and how you're feeling in the right moment, obviously being always respectful. And um, and only with one objective, which is to get the best out of the team. That's the only aim as a as a manager and everybody that is in in the squad to to get the best results and get everybody performing at the level that that we can. You work with Pep, obviously. During his career, you spent four years at Barcelona and needed the rest. Three years at Barcelona needed the rest. Is, is it possible to maintain that sort of intensity for so long? I mean, obviously Wenger and people like did it. I think the I think we all live this profession with a huge intensity and passion. Um, some express it very clearly with the body language or or words, and some others they have an inner talk there that is there all the time. Marcel was here for 22 years. You could see when he was suffering. You could see when he was having uh, emotion and enjoyment, but you could tell uh, how much and how much he could drain. He would probably tell you better than me, but uh, but then that mental toughness and strength and passion that he had for the game, it was much bigger than any other thing that he was coming across. Yourself, I mean, after, after a hard game, you switch off and forget about it. Sometimes better than others. Um, that's why, obviously, having the right people around you, having a, a very strong family and and bonding with your team and, and the club is, is so important because uh, we are human beings and we go through different stages even throughout the day. This is club recruitment, and it goes from the top with with ownership, with uh, Stan and Josh. It goes all the way with all the board, with Edu, myself, all the academy. We are all together in this. It's not a decision that I made by myself. Uh, we try to expose a plan that we want to execute, and every case is different. We discuss it, we come together, and, and we make a final decision um, based on that. And when that decision is made, don't look back. It's, it's made. Um, it's not my decision. It's decision. It's our decision. And we will continue to do that because I think it's working pretty well. I think the the commitment and the side of this ownership is without a question or doubt uh, as good as I've seen in football. Um, they are on it, they want to take this club to a completely different level, they have the ambition and it's clear there is so much evidence that um, they are giving us all the support that we need in, in order to do that. So it's great to see as well that now there is a little bit of 
change in that talk, and I think uh, even our supporters and everybody around the world is talking very differently about what is happening here. He has to be a ruthless winner. That's it. Simple. Can you elaborate? Sorry? Can you elaborate? I mean, that's fine. That's his mentality. That's what he needs to do. He needs to win football matches on his own. He needs to be leaving this profession. Tomorrow I'm going to kill the opponent. And that's what I want from him. He has this ability. Now he's gone through a pace in, in his career. He needs to go to the next level right now. And I think he has the right environment to do it. He has the, the right people around him to do it. And, uh, and he's very willing to do it. So that's what we have to demand. Last one. Why do you think he's, he's not doing that? I mean, do you think it really comes across? I'm not saying so that. Okay. What I'm saying is. He's a nice guy when mm. he's off the pitch. Great. On the pitch. Different. How different is it when we, we, we see him in a few clips in the, on the documentary, I suppose, with us, I think with the young fan, but what, what's he like in the changing room or behind the scenes or when you have private chats with him? Is, how does he compare? One of the most intelligent players that I have come across. Um, very well raised and educated, uh, and he loves this football game. <laughs> That it's called football, and um, he has all the qualities and the right people around him to to be a success, and um, that's what we need to work on now. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.